Melkote, an ancient temple town. And it's unheard tale of a bloody massacre. So let's start our journey and dive deep into the history of Badrinath of southern India and explore the unheard truth of Dark Diwali. Hey everyone, very good morning. So welcome to the fifth vlog of our channel. So we are on our way to this beautiful place called Melkote, uh, which is approximately 150 kilometers from Bangalore. Right now it's uh, 4.30 in the morning and morning in Bangalore is still cold despite of having such a terrible weather. This year we are experiencing 36 to 39 degree which is a kind of record here in Bangalore. Usually it does not increase more than 31 degree but this time it's so terrible. So we have taken this Tumkur road and we will take a left turn after Nilmangla Tall towards Bangalore Highway. Okay. I guess they are carrying a huge blade of windmill. Yeah, I was correct. Okay, one minute, let me give him a pass. I usually get scared to take over these huge trucks on bustling highways, and we should be. Okay, let me take over it first. I think we need a break for a good coffee and uh, then we'll restart our journey. Hi there. So that's Vishal. And uh, we have just started. We are on Bangalore, Bangalore Highway. Hello, Joe. Grumpy Joe. Good morning. Okay, so we are back on the road after a good coffee. And it's such a beautiful morning. Today I am riding with my friend Vishal and my wife Jyotsna, who is a very good pillion rider as well. So we have done a lot of rides together. The first ride and the longest ride that we have done together was from Bangalore to Uti and then to Coimbatore via Kunnur. It was a total of 900 to 1000 km of a stretch within the span of 4 days. And it was really a fun ride. I would say that uh, she's a very good pillion rider because she does not disturb, she does not make excuses and she really cooperates with me a lot during my entire ride. Even though it's not her interest. Ah, Shikhar Pan Masala and my name is Shashan Shikhar. Uh, they're using my name and not paying me for that. Just kidding. Okay, it's time for a cinematic shot. One, two, three, go. Okay, I think we need a break for the breakfast and uh, we'll stop by here. This is Park Shala. Uh, let me park my bike first. As I have told in my previous vlog that uh, there are so many places around Bangalore which have amazing histories and uh, Melkote is one of them. There are many names given to this place like uh, ancient temple town or the Badrinath of southern India. So we have taken a left turn from national highway to a state highway and uh, we are heading towards Nagamangla town and uh, here we arrive. See this crazy guy crossing road in his own sweet dreams. 
So guys, if you're crossing through these towns, then please be very careful. Ride slowly and responsibly and uh, don't mess with these people as this is not a good idea at all. I guess we're talking about Melkote. This town basically comes under the Pandapura Taluk of Mandya district of Karnataka and uh, it is situated on the bouldered hills of Yadugiri overlooking the Kaveri Valley. This town has a long spiritual history, a story of a Turkish princess who turned into a devotee of Ramapriya and merged with the idol of deity Chelua Narayan Swami in Melkote despite of being an Islam follower and now worshipped as one of the greatest devotees by the name of B.V. Nachiar. There is also a dark history which forced the Iyengar Brahmin community of Melkote to mourn on the festival of light, Diwali. So guys, before we move ahead, uh, please read the disclaimer carefully. I have provided all the sources of my information. The intention of this channel is not to mislead, endorse any superstition or create any communal hate. We are interested in exploring the places, learning histories and making vlog about that. So go through the entire video and hit the like button, share it and subscribe to our channel. Finally, we have arrived at Melkote and the first temple that we'll visit is Yoga Nursima temple. So let's go and hear the story of this temple. Wow, look at the structure. It looks so ancient. It is giving a vibe similar to Hampi and it's really beautiful. I think we have lost our way and uh, we have to take the help from the locals. Parking is the future here. Parking. Chelu Narayan. Temple in the Chelu Narayan temple. Yes. Yoga Narasama. Where is it? Guys, we are heading towards Yoga Narasama temple and uh, we are going till the midway of the hill by our bikes. Hey everyone, so we have just reached to this uh, Yoga Narsema temple. Uh, we actually took our bike. We can, uh, you guys can also take the step, but it was like too long and there was a way to take the bike. So we came till the midway and now we are going to climb, I think, 200 steps approximately. So that's the temple. It is believed that Prahlada, the greatest devotee of Lord Narsimha, engaged in the meditation of Lord on this hill Yadugiri and in result he received the deity of Lord in yogic posture which he himself installed here. While the history of this temple is around 1000 years old, this temple was built during Hoysala kingdom and many kings have made some donations from there. end. This temple has a huge drum which was donated by Tipu Sultan, a beautiful bell donated by Mysore Prakal Matha and a golden crown donated by King Wadiyar III. The surroundings of the temple is amazing and the viewpoint gives you a 360 degree view of Melkote town. So if you come here, then do check it out. Now we'll head towards Kalyani Pushkarni. While coming down, we witness this beautiful harmony. Our next stop was Kalyani Pushkarni, which is the biggest water tank of the district surrounded by beautiful gopuram and corridors held by a stone pillar and has been beautifully carved.
this don't do this bullshit don't try to name all this ancient monuments whenever you come to such nice place just behave yourself and refrain yourself from doing such you know nonsense activities as per ishvara samhita when lord varaha lifted the earth from universal ocean then few drops of water on his body fell on top of the hill of melikote which led to the creation of this kalyani pushkar after this we came to the main attraction of melikote chalo narayan swami temple there is a long list of histories related to this temple which include lord rama and krishna's involvement in different time zones it will take another video to explain the entire chronology so we will stick to one story of bb nachia which is a unique story of devotion in the hindu religion it is said that ramanuja acharya reestablished the town of melikote and this temple one day the deity of rama priya came into his dream and asked him to take him back to melikote from delhi where he was with the daughter of sultan of delhi the khiljis he approached the sultan in delhi and requested him to give the deity back Upon his request Sultan did the same however after hearing this news the daughter of Sultan could not bear the separation from the deity and fell unconscious seeing her daughter Sultan ordered his troops to get back the deity the princess also followed Ramanujacharya till Melukote since her condition was not good and she was reduced to skin and bones by the time she had reached to Melukote seeing her stress her full condition she was stopped at the gate where she she saw that her idol is now being worshiped by millions she realized that it was all over and that an eerie sense of calmness descended in her and she no longer felt like crying for the final time she walked into the sanctum of the lord looked at the lord raised her hand in prayer and dropped on the floor her soul left her body and merged with the idol ramanujacharya choked in grief when he heard this devotion which was way bigger than his so he got a small idol of the princess installed in the feet of lord chalo narayana swami where she is worshiped as bb nachiar next was akathangi kola which means elder and younger sister the characteristic of this pond is that one is salty one is not so this is still a mystery as to how does it happen our last place in milkote was raya gopuram where lots of famous movies have been shot like rowdy rathor guru Thalapati and Rajnikanth Padayappa movie It is a mystery as to what was the objective of this construction and why it was left unfinished Hey everyone so we are returning to our home but the main story of Melkote is still left which most of you might not be aware about Uh this is not going to give a very happy ending to this vlog unfortunately. The Ayanga Brahmin community of Melkote does not celebrate Diwali for more than 2 decades and the reason behind this is a bloody massacre of their ancestors which happened 200 years back during the rule of Tipu Sultan. Many sources claim that it was Tipu Sultan who was responsible for the death of more than 500 Ayanga Brahmins in Sri Rangpatnam on the eve of Diwali. As per the locals and many sources The story started when Hyder Ali, the father of Tipu Sultan, dethroned the king of Mysore, Imadi Krishna Raja Wadiyar II, and the royal family was kept under the house arrest. However, Queen of Wadiyar, Lakshmi Ammani Devi, was constantly making efforts to take back the throne from Hyder Ali. She started negotiating with Britishers with the help of her pradhan, Tirumala Iyengar, who was a Mandyam Iyengar Brahmin. So after Hyder Ali passed away, his son Tipu Sultan took the throne. and ruled for 16 years after this queen amani devi was constantly increasing her efforts to place wadiyas back on the throne of mysore now as per sources when tipu heard this news he immediately ordered his troops to round up all the mandyam ayangars many of them were the relatives and friends of tirumala ayangar who was negotiating with britishers on behalf of amani devi on the eve of diwali all hells gate broken wide open when tipu's army raided on the congregation of 700 mandyam ayangar brahmins at narasimha swami temple in sri rangpatna it is said that those rampaging soldiers made the unexpected and frightening crowd run fearing for their lives no one has ever seen such chaos and killing in that part of area before 
Thus the festival of joy turned into the day filled with crying and wailing over the dead and severely injured. This is the reason Diwali is never celebrated in this part of India and that eve of Diwali is remembered as Dark Diwali. So this is all from our end today. We hope that you liked our video. Hence please hit the like button, share it and subscribe to our channel Jyotsna Shrandlog. We will meet you guys in our next video. Till then, bye bye and take care.